Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Jennifer Taylor, and welcome to today's Qualtrics tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about question behavior, specifically skip logic and display logic. So two of the types of question behavior that's available on Qualtrics. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. All right, so I have a little tutorial survey that I've created. I have a screener question. It's all about Blackboard. So have you ever used Blackboard? And then some usage questions. How long? When was the last time? On average, how many times? How would you feel? Uh, why would you be happy if you could no longer use Blackboard? The obstacles um, and improvements or changes that would be made. And then, of course, demographic questions. So with some surveys, you have screener questions. Uh, and so with screener questions, you, if someone does not meet the criteria for the survey, you want to send them to the end of the survey. So one way we can handle that, <clears throat> excuse me, is through display logic. So what you want to do is skip on, click on the question. So click on this question. And then over in this question menu bar, we're going to go down to question behavior and we're going to click on skip logic. So for this question, we want to send them to the end of the survey. So we could either send them to the end of the block and maybe there's several questions in the block after this. We don't want them to take the questions if they respond a certain way, uh, but for what we're doing, we want to send them to the end of the survey. And then it'll give you the responses. So here we just have a yes and a no. So if they say no, we want them to go to the end of the survey. So end of survey, if no, is selected. And we could say not dis selected, displayed, not displayed. So end of the survey, if no, is selected. So we're going to click confirm. And then we're going to preview the survey. So I'll show you how this works. Have you ever used Blackboard? And yes, I have. So I should be shown the questions and I am. All right, restart the survey. Have you ever used Blackboard? No, I have not. And I'm sent to the thank you page. So the skip logic works. And that was simply how to use skip logic. So again, I could do this as a screener question where you want to skip to the thank you page or skipping to the end of the block. So maybe I had four or five questions in here and I just wanted to go there. So another form of question behavior is display logic. So I'm going to scroll down here. I've asked some questions like how long have you used it? When is the last time you used it? How many times a week do you use it? And then I ask this question, how would you feel if you could no longer use Blackboard? And then my next question is, why would you be happy if you could no longer use Blackboard? So for this question, for this question here, I only want it displayed if they answer slightly happy, moderately happy, or extremely happy. So if, if they say they'd be unhappy or neutral, um, then I don't want them to answer this question. But really what I want to understand is um, why would they be happy with not using Blackboard anymore? All right, so in order to do this display logic, so this question is only shown to those that answer slightly happy, moderately happy, or extremely happy. First, I click on the question that I want to be displayed. I click on display logic. And so I can do question embedded data quota. There's all things, all sorts of things we can use. For what we're doing, it's just a question. We're gonna select our question. Um, how would you feel? And I'm gonna do slightly happy. All right, and then I want it to be moderately happy, and then I want it to be extremely happy. All right, so now I'm going to go and we're going to preview it to see if it works. Uh, have you ever used Blackboard? Yes. I'm going to answer these questions just really quickly to get to our skip logic. All right, and so if I go and I say extremely happy, it should skip that question. 
moderately unhappy, should skip it. Slightly unhappy, should skip it. Neither happy nor unhappy, it should skip it. So all that's working. So now we should be shown the question next. Oh, it's not showing us that question. Let's try this one. Oh, it's still not, it's not working on that one either. Extremely happy. Oh, it's not working there either. Okay, so let's go back into our display logic. We're gonna click edit. We have a problem. The problem here is this and. If you have and selected here with multiple conditions, then all three of these conditions must be met. And this is a, a Likert scale, so they can only choose one option. So we want this to say or, or. So we're gonna save it. So that means that one of these conditions must be met. All right, so let's go see if this is going to work. All right, go here, go there, go there. Okay, so I'm just gonna check this one just to make sure that that's still working properly and the rest should be for that. Now the question is slightly happy. Is it gonna take us to the question? <coughs> and there we go. We have our question that's displayed only to people who said slightly happy, people who said moderately happy, or if people who are clicking extremely happy. So our display logic has worked. And this will only be shown to people who answer and meet the conditions that we specified. So that was it for doing display logic and skip logic. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, but other than that, have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.